How's it going guys, FlickFi here, and today I'm going to be featuring the first episode of a new series I'm going to be starting up, and the series is going to be called something along the lines of Original Squads, and by original I mean that these squads that I'm going to be featuring haven't seen too often in online play, and this will also be a little bit of an interactive series. If you guys have a certain squad you want me to see, then uh, you want me to play with you, you guys want to see, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try to go ahead and build the squads and take your guys' suggestions. But in the first episode today, we're going to be featuring a squad from the Tip of Ligaean, and this squad is a really nice silver team. Uh, they are a 3-5-2 formation. Not all the players have perfect the perfect formation, but that's because they still get perfect chemistry. So yeah, it's a really pretty cheap squad and it is a full silver Tip of Ligaean squad. So yeah, you guys might see our goalkeeper here. His name is Yarsign, and he is a rock in the back. 74 diving, 75 kicking, and 77 reflexes are his main stats. Really not looking to spend too much for a keeper, and 500 coins fits the purpose well, and he didn't really let in too many goals, and he made some clutch saves, to be honest. But yeah, moving on to the first of our three center backs on the left side, we're going to have Gonzalez, and the main stat he has on him is his 74 pace, which is really nice for a center back. As you guys know, pace is such a key attribute to have in FIFA 13 for the center backs and just in general, but he also has the speed dribbler trait, which is actually kind of rare for a center back, and it's kind of nice to see a defender with that. And next to him, we have our man in the center. It's going to be Reganusen. And Reganusen has 6 foot 2 height and 71 pace on him. He is the slowest of our three center backs. But he has 74 defending and 70 heading to make up for that. And he's just a beast in the center, to be honest. And to his right, we're going to have our third center back. His name's Hovland. And this guy's a great center back as well. Probably the best center back you can get in the Eredivisie. Debatable with him and the one in the center. But 76 pace on him, so he's the fastest of the three. 77 defending, which is nice. His heading isn't the highest, but he is six foot three, so he can get to those headers. And he's honestly just probably one of my favorite center backs to use. Silver center backs to use, to be honest. And yeah, moving on to our two center defensive mids. First of which is just a default center mid. They're actually both default center mids, but I had to convert one of them. But the first of which being Joseph. And this guy might not be the best center defensive mid, but he played well for me. But he's got some nice stats. And I think he works best at a center mid, but he plays well in this squad. And he does have four-star skills on him, which is nice. 63 pace, which doesn't matter too much because he's a center defensive mid. But he has a beast long shot on him with 73 shooting and 78 dribbling. So he can actually keep the ball pretty well. And 74 passing, so he can find the other people on the rest of the field. But yeah, next to him, we probably have one of my favorite players to use on this squad, Ogud. He's just has the perfect stats for a center defensive mid. 78 pace, which is always nice. 74 defending and 75 heading, 76 dribbling. 4-star weak foot and 3-star skills, and he's only going to cost you 900 coins plus the conversion card. At least that's what I got him for. So he's really a nice player to use, and he just fit perfectly into this squad. But to his left, we have another player. It's going to be Dioff, and he's probably my favorite left mid, left winger to use in the in this squad. He's quite expensive, but he did he was fully converted, so he would fit perfectly into the squad. 3,500 is what I paid for him. You can surely get him for less. But he does have some nice stats on him. 82 pace, 75 dribbling, 77 heading, 3-star weak foot, and 4-star skills, which is just the key stats for a left mid or left winger. And on the opposite side of him, we have maybe one of my favorite underused players in the game. You guys might not be turned on by his 2-star skills, but Josh Gat is an absolute animal. And he is representing the United States, which is nice to see them make a feature. Because you guys, as you guys probably know, I am American. But yeah, this guy is just the step over king for me. And he does have 91 pace on him, which is really nice to see. And you guys will see in the goals to come, his shooting is just immense. 65 shot is a definite lie. But his dribbling, that fits pretty well. You know, he just, he seemed to be really agile. And the two star skills kind of get in the way sometimes. But you can really do well with that still. And moving forward to our center attacking mid player, it's going to be Burgett, who is my personal favorite to use in this squad. He does have 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, 78 pace, 70 shot, and 77 dribbling, which is perfect for a center attacking mid, at least a silver one. And yeah, there, you do have some other options to use, but this one, this guy is really cheap. 450 coins is all I paid for him. But like I said, there are some other options that you can use, which I will show later on in this episode. But moving to our duo up front, the first of which being Husklep who is probably my favorite silver striker to use. He's just an animal for me. And he does have 88 pace, 72 dribbling, which is really nice. And his shot is quite good as well. And four-star skills is always good to have the striker. And next to him, we have Elianusi, who also has four-star skills. But he also has four-star weak foot, 88 pace, which is really similar to Husklep, 78 dribbling, and 71 shot. So his stats are slightly better than Husklep, but personally, I prefer Husklep uh, at the striker role. 
But from here, I'm going to be showing you guys the substitutes that I have on the bench. These are also players that will fit nicely into the squad, and I'll just briefly go through them. So the first one's going to be Steen Sled, and he is a defender with over 70 pace, so he can fit well into the squad. Next is Drage, another center mid with 84 pace, which is quite nice, and 79 dribbling, which is good. And next to him, we have Barantes, who, if you look at his stats, a lot of ones in the 70s. So he might fit well at the center attacking mid or center defensive mid role. Probably the center attacking mid because his defending is a little bit low. But here, another center attacking mid that would fit well. Chibuki, 75 pace, 4-star skills on him, 78 dribbling, and 65 shot, which is not bad. And another option at left wing or left mid, you could have Kaita. He's a little bit worse than Diof in my opinion, so I went with Diof at the final squad. And Mickelson's also another player you can use, but really the only really nice stat he has is his pace, which is quite nice with 90, but the rest of the stats don't really stick out too much. And lastly, we have Prika, who's probably the best sub that I have on this subs bench. He originally was the player I had in to start the squad off with, but I gradually moved Husklep in in his favor because I prefer Husklep. But he does have some nice stats. 73 pace, which is a little bit low, but 74 shot will definitely make up for that. And 72 dribbling, 3-star skills, 3-star weak foot, I believe. Actually, 4-star weak foot. So yeah, that's going to bring an end to the squad today, guys. From here, I'm going to be showing you guys the goals that I managed to score with them. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as always, leave a like rating or a comment, and I'll be talking to you guys again soon.